YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, TKK, the King Kendrick. We are back with another video. Listen, we've got two amazing displays uh, in front of currently us. Currently on my channel, I'm covering these in my bedroom as a comparison for gaming. My Sony TV on the right is sweet spot to my bed and on the left, the Samsung is a gaming TV. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some of the graphics car information and I want to try to bridge the gap with the community a little bit, you know. Uh, you know, it's a lot of enthusiastic individuals that comment on my channel frequently about these displays and to me they just really go hand in hand with the information that was just put out for us from NVIDIA the other day. We have new 40 series graphics cars that are slated to come out in just about three weeks, October the 12th, to be specific as the launch date. And I'm really excited about this, guys. So currently, this computer, which it is a PC that is connected to both of these displays, it is an Asus RTX 3090, a tough model. And when, by tough, we're talking about the TUF lineup of components that they have. Now, when I got this card, I got it when it retailed, probably was like the fourth week it was out in the states and it was $2,200. Now keeping in mind, this was like smack dead in a peak of like the COVID time frame. I didn't pay a reseller's price for it, it was retail. The one thing I like about that, this card is exactly what I'm able to do right here. It has two HDMI ports, right? So when you're looking at what I'm gonna call partner cards like this one, there's certain features and functionalities that you'll get that Founders Edition cards, which are the NVIDIA model ones specifically, may not have. Typically, those are going to have one HDMI and three display ports, but I digress. This card is connected to both of these displays, giving them both 4K at 120 frames per second. I have it duplicated, and so that's how we have this here. So this is going to be here for talking points. Now, I'm excited. I'm going to shoot straight to the top for the 4090. I am currently a two-time 3090 owner and a one-time 3090 Ti owner. I also own 3080 Ti and several 3080s. I have sons, they've got 3070s, 3080s, and so forth. And so we are a gaming community in my household. Literally, that's what we do, guys. So when I speak about even these displays, it's always coming from a place of gaming because that's what I do. Now let's talk about price. 4090 is $100 for the retail price point of the Founders Edition card, which again, Founders Edition is an indication that it is NVIDIA's card, right? The partner is going to be the Asus MSI, a gigabit, yada, 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 right? So I'm going to be shooting for the Founders myself. Founders Edition card is only going to be $100 more. That is not a problem for me. I'm excited about that. We're talking $1599, whereas to last year, the 3090 was $1499. The 3090 Ti was $2,000. Now you can get that car for $1,100. If you can, get your hands on it because it's a very good deal, guys. Very good deal. So my reasoning for really saying that I think that you should try to take advantage of current GPU prices from a retail perspective because I think they're pretty good. For example, if you can get your hands on the MSI Ventus 3 slot 3080 Ti, that card is only $750 right now. It's ridiculously low. Like that's a very good price. And listen, if you're into these type of displays, again, I'm not really talking to the PC enthusiasts, but more so for the guys that are, that are, um, you know, into, into this type of content. Um, you know, this is going to put you guys in position where, you know, you can get you a card and you can get you a card that can actually run your display and can get you some high graphical fidelity. Cause I mean, ultimately, you know, when you're buying these type of panels, this is what you really want, right? You want something that's gonna put you in position where you can actually take advantage of it. You know, things like 144 Hertz on the, the Samsung on the left. I mean, you gotta overclock it and you gotta have a PC for that, but you really gotta have the components that can take advantage of it. Um, another thing is that it, it appears that Nvidia is going to launch the 30 of the, the 80 series and the 70 series later than the 90 series, which I'm totally OK with that. Um, my opinion, my opinion, let's let the enthusiasts once get themselves out of the way. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, call the spade a spade. I'm shooting straight for the top. Boy, this game looks great. Looks really good. I do have live color turned on on the right. Uh, you know, currently we're covering the different greens with the, this Samsung, the greens, the reds. Um, there's just something about this TV. It just 
modifies the color. If you take if you take color away from it, I don't want to get off topic from the GPUs, but if you take color away from it, it just it makes it overall look just too bland, right? Um, but anyway, back to my point. I think that you guys should really, really consider buying yourself a pre-built or buying components. You know, if we're getting into these displays, let's go ahead and get into optimal hardware that's going to allow us to utilize it. Listen, nothing against consoles. I'm a PS5 owner, Xbox Series X owner. But in order for you guys to really, really be ahead of the curveball with these displays, you're going to have to get yourself into some kind of PC gaming. I really just wanted to offer some talking points to this. If you guys know, then you know, I'm just, I'm already up on it, man. I'm definitely out the gate trying to buy two of those 30, 49, I keep saying 30, 40, 90s. I got two bills that I'm just going to get into them. And the kids are going to get some of the, the older cars that I've got. Um, I'm pretty much going to hand them down to my kids and upgrade them, those that need them and, and so forth. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about these new GPUs? what did you think of the content that you were seeing i am so so happy you know this is a great time of the year i got the displays that i wanted to get this year and now i'm finally going to get more graphical hardware i'm thinking next year i might buy my first ak tv who knows don't know guys but i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace god bless max love